Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to start sketching. Let's begin with a new part document. Notice the status bar. It tells us that we're in the part editing environment. If you don't see the status bar, go to View and select Status Bar. A sketch can be created in a few different ways, and we'll explore those here. The document we created has three default planes. They are the front plane, the top plane, and the right plane, and we see each node in the design tree. The planes are currently hidden in the graphic area, but as you noticed, when I moused over their nodes in the Feature Manager design tree, the planes were highlighted in the graphic area. You can make the planes visible. Just right-click on the plane node and select the Show command. That's the glasses icon here. Now the plane is visible in the graphic area and can be selected right there. To hide the plane again, perform the same operation. Right-click and select the glasses. That's the hide command. Let's create our first sketch. I'm going to right-click on the top plane and select Sketch. This inserts a new sketch. The plane changes orientation, and now we see Editing Sketch 1 displayed in the status bar. Sketch 1 is active. On the right-hand side of the graphic area, we've got what's called the Confirmation Corner. We can exit a sketch, accepting our changes, by clicking this icon, or exit the sketch and disregard our changes by clicking the red X. Let's click the arrow to exit the sketch. Since we didn't create any geometry, this sketch simply disappeared from the design tree. Another way to create a sketch is to go to the Sketch tab. If the Sketch tab isn't visible, just right-click on any tab and select it from the list of available tabs. The Sketch icon gives us a drop-down menu where we can select from 2D Sketch or 3D Sketch. For this example, I'll use a 2D Sketch. Now we're prompted to select a plane on which we create a sketch for the entity. I can select it right in the graphic area, or I can select from this tree, and I'll select the top plane. The status bar tells us that we're in editing sketch mode, and this time we're editing sketch 2. And now let's click the red X in the confirmation corner to exit the sketch without saving it. SolidWorks asks me to confirm if I want to disregard the changes to the sketch and exit. And yes, I do, so that's the button I'll click. Another way to create a sketch is by going to the Features tab. Currently, two features are available, Extruded Boss and Revolved Boss. These are known as sketch-based features. In other words, I need a sketch profile in order to create these features. Basically, I've got to start these two entities with a sketch. Let's activate the Extruded Boss command. Now we're prompted to select a plane. I'm going to use the top plane. And for this example, I'll activate the Line tool. The flyout arrow on this icon gives us two options, line and center line. Let's use line. And notice my cursor becomes a pencil. There's a line right beside the pencil as a further reminder. And the line property manager is now open at the left-hand side of the screen. To go to the feature manager design tree, click the first tab with the gear icon. The status bar displays the current mouse position on a 2D grid. We left-click in the graphic area to position the first point. Notice the rubber band effect. As I move my mouse, it previews the line that I'll create if I click a second time. The numbers next to the mouse are feedback. These tell me the current approximate length of the line at the point where I'm mousing over. Right now, approximately 24 millimeters at this point. We left-click again. This establishes our second point, and we've created our first line. The tool remains active, and as I continue to left-click, I'm creating a line chain. Finish the chain with a double-click. And let's take a moment to describe the entity that we've created in the graphic area. We've got a line chain. This line and this line are coincident at this point. Same with the second and third lines. They are coincident at this point right here. The first and third lines are also parallel as indicated by the square green glyphs. The line tool is still active and we can keep creating lines with left clicks. 
We can also end a line chain with a right click and select End Chain. If I want to create a single line, I left click, left click and hold the mouse button down, drag, and when you release the mouse button, you'll create the second point of the line. Let's create a line between two points. When I mouse over this point, a yellow circle appears. This glyph, which has got two concentric circles, is the symbol for a coincident relationship. If I left click while this is visible, I'll create a point that's coincident to this point. Notice the rubber banding as well as the feedback. Let's mouse over this point. The coincident glyph appears again. If I left click at this point, I'll automatically apply that relation. Let's continue to mouse along the line. A different glyph appears, indicating a coincident relation between the point and the line. As my mousing reaches the center of the line, the glyph changes. If I left click right here, I'll establish coincidence with the center point of this line. To exit the line tool, I can click the green OK check mark in the property manager, or I can right click in the graphic area and choose select, or I can just select a new tool from the command manager. The rectangle property manager, as well as the rectangle symbol next to the cursor, tell us that the rectangle tool is now active. Right click and select to exit the rectangle tool. Let's activate the line tool again. Let me create one more line between these two points. OK to close the line tool. And at this point, I'm ready to exit the sketch. Let's click Accept and Exit in the confirmation corner. Now, since we started our sketch with the extruded boss command, SolidWorks wants to create an extruded solid from our sketch. Let's cancel out of the boss extrude property manager. SolidWorks takes us back to sketch editing mode. Click in the graphic area to unselect everything. Now let's select this line and click Delete on my keyboard. Let's activate the Line tool again. And I'm going to close this profile. Now I'm ready to exit the sketch. Notice that the Line tool is still active. Exit the sketch. The status bar tells us that we're now in part editing mode. The sketch appears in gray line. And the node for Sketch 3 in the Design tree appears above the separator. By the way, notice the minus symbol next to the sketch. This means that the sketch is what's called underdefined. In other words, this sketch doesn't have a sufficient number of parameters, either dimensions or constraints, to prevent the geometry from freely moving. We're going to learn more about this later on in this section. Now let's edit this sketch. I right-click on its node in the Feature Manager design tree and select the Edit Sketch command. Now I can make my changes. When I'm done, I exit. If I want to disregard my changes, I just click the red X. SolidWorks asks me to confirm that. Dis discard and exit, yes. Let's create another sketch. Right-click on the top plane and select New Sketch. And let's drop a few lines in the graphic area. Close the profile. And we are ready to exit the sketch. Deselect everything with a left click and blank space. Now if I want to hide the sketch, I right-click on its node and select Hide. However, when I mouse over the Sketch 4 node of the tree, the sketch is highlighted in the graphic area. Notice the icon next to the nodes. The visible sketch icon is in color and the hidden sketch node has a black and white icon. To make the sketch visible again, just right click and select Show. We finished our first sketch and we're ready to create a solid. Let's go to the Features tab, activate the Extruded Boss command. I'm going to select the sketch I just created and click Accept. Now our sketch is both consumed by Boss Extrude 1 as well as hidden. We're going to learn more about creating extrusions in subsequent tutorials. This concludes our first lesson about creating a sketch in SolidWorks. In our next tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Rectangle tool.